My name is Tom Cheeseright, I'm an Applied Futurist at Book of the Future. And for me, the, the biggest trend, the biggest change in technology over the last 10 years is often mistaken. People are very familiar with Moore's Law, they're familiar with the shrinking in size of technology, the increasing in power and storage, but that completely misses one massively important trend, which is the dramatic and exponential improvement in the user experience. You know, even 10 years ago, utilising the computing power at our disposal was so much more difficult. You needed to know so much more about how you were going to interact with the device. Whereas now I can just shout at my phone and one time in two it'll play the song I actually want. We're very screen obsessed right now. Everything we build, every gadget we buy seems to have an interface through an app, through a screen, whether it's touch or otherwise. And we're just starting to see embryonic voice interfaces and actually machines taking decisions on our behalf, getting to know us, understanding us through sensors, through our social networks and their interactions with our physical world and take good decisions on our behalf. And that for me is gonna be the, the massive trend of the next 10 years is the disappearance of technology. It becomes embedded in the world around us. So we're absolutely going to start to see more and more connected devices, right down to the buttons on your shirt, because the cost of connecting them is so small that the utility only has to be tiny to justify that case. Uh, security is a massive issue and will remain a massive issue, and part of that is actually architectural. At the moment, the way we make things work is by centralising everything. We have big centralised databases, big centralised social networks, big centralised banking systems. Whenever we want to do anything with our connected devices, even if they're only scattered around our body, we send all of that data up to these central databases and back again to our bodies. And we're going to have to change that architecture and move data back to the individual and put it into our own personal cloud, if you like, that sits around us rather than sitting in these great central repositories, which are hugely attractive for hackers. We're starting to see the, the application of connected devices in, in so many different ways that are going to change every aspect of banking, cash, and even the complete removal of cash. These are going to be effects that are very physical. They're not just a new device in our pocket or a new app on that device. It's transformational changes to the physical aspects of our world, things we're very used to, clothes, money and healthcare. There are always retarding factors that slow the progress of, of technological development. Part of them is social. Um, you know, absolutely, there are some things that we've proven we're just not ready to accept yet. Google Glass being a great example. You know, the technology wasn't quite ready, but fundamentally that was a social failure. We weren't quite happy with having cameras on everyone's foreheads just yet. There, there are physical problems. You know, virtual reality is hugely hyped at the moment, but there's still a very physical problem with virtual reality that it makes some people very sick very quickly and actually affects women more than it affects men. That's going to have a serious limiting effect on the success of virtual reality. There's always going to be retarding forces, but I think at the moment the overriding driver of change is technology and that will continue to be so for the next 10 years.